Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you how to install Hursty themes. Um, a long time ago, um, ES themes got really packed. Hursty built this thing, his own custom themes. He has something like a thousand themes. So he built his own script. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the script. This image I'm on is an old Dars Zone video. I'm on a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. This should work for the Raspberry Pi 4, the Raspberry Pi 3, no matter what you're on. The main thing you want to do is just make sure your Pi is connected to the internet. I have a network cable in my Pi, so it's automatically connected. If you're not connected that way, you can always connect via Wi-Fi by going to the options menu in your uh, RetroPie emulation station, hit Wi-Fi, enter your password, and get connected. The other thing you're going to need is a keyboard. Unless you want to do this via PuTTY, PuTTY is a way to remotely do all this from your laptop or desktop computer. I want to show you how to do it on an image though, so if anybody wants to do this and doesn't own a computer, um, you could do it with a standalone Raspberry Pi. Um, you will need a keyboard though. So the first thing to do, let's go ahead and follow the directions, but ultimately what we're going to do here is we're going to install e, uh, Hursty Themes, which gives you access to hundreds and hundreds of themes. Like I said earlier, I think he's up to like a thousand themes now. Crazy, crazy work. Um, a lot of custom themes like this one here. This one is actually a Dars Zone uh, theme, um, custom theme, but um, you'll see that a lot of the themes... Um, you can find a theme for practically anything. And so people have been asking me where I get some of my themes from that I show in these videos. And a lot of the newer images I get already have the script installed on it. But some of you are running an older image or running your own custom image. So I want to share with you how you would go about installing this. So without further ado, the first thing you want to do is boot up your emulation station, get onto the Wi-Fi, hook up a keyboard. Once the keyboard's hooked up, we can hit the F4 button. Once we hit the F4 button, um, we can go ahead and you can see my Wi-Fi is disabled, but I'm connected via network. Uh, once we're here, we're now at the command prompt and so or terminal. And what we want to do is we want to type this in. I'll go ahead and put it on your screen as well. Um, the nice thing about doing this in putty is you can copy and paste here. You actually have to go and write it out. Okay, so the first line of code we want is wget https colon forward slash forward slash raw dot github user content dot com slash retro hursty 69. I'd be careful with those capitals. Might as well do that. Um, uh, slash hursty themes. See, ooh, see, I have a, I have a spelling mistake there. And it wouldn't have worked because of my spelling mistake. So that's the first thing is always double check hursty themes. There we go, master. Okay, now I'm good. I'm going to hit enter. Nice. So I got it. Now I've downloaded this file and now I have it. Now I want to go ahead and execute the file. So I'm going to do chmod plus x and then quote install.sh. Enter. All right, so I accidentally plushed it twice, but it doesn't really matter. I, so I did the chmod, and then the last one, it doesn't do anything when you hit enter after the last command. And then the third command, in, uh, period, forward slash install.sh, enter, and then you should see this happen, and you should be good. Okay, that's it. So now we can just restart. So let's go ahead and type emulation station and enter. Oh, there it is. We now has the Hursty themes there that we didn't have before. Let's go ahead and click it. Hey, so let's go ahead and update the script just to make sure we have the latest script. Okay, I guess we did, so we were all good. But um, so we have now the boot theme randomizer, which actually was already installed into this 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 uh, image before. But wow, look at all these different themes because each theme have its, has its own like subset so for example the mini suite will have like american dad animal crossing batman suite look at this um uh, it is just remarkable uh how much stuff it has i'm sure there's you know like metal slug deadpool you know you name something you're into the it'll be here no problem so you can have a totally custom emulation station uh, experience.
all right, let's just say I want Jurassic Park. I'm still connected to the internet. You do need to be connected to the internet to have access to these and to install them. But as you see, it goes pretty quick, getting what, 25, 30 megabytes per second. And that's installed already. So I can always go cancel to go back. He has all sorts. Hursty Picks Theme Manager. Okay, so here's some of his older ones. These actually, some of these I think are on the ES themes, but um, Sterling was a really cool one. I'll go ahead and install that. So Sterling is done. Oh, it's not done yet. Okay, Sterling was done. I've showed, uh, let's try Mario Brothers 3. I've tried, I've showed you all the soda can one before. There you go. I went ahead and got that on there. And then now you just wanna hit start, UI settings, theme set. And this one already had a bunch of ones in it, but remember I installed Jurassic Park Suite. So let's start there. You go ahead and click it and go back. Once you hit back, you're gonna get a little bit of lag right here because basically it's making those changes for you. But here we go. <laughs> I'm Jurassic Parking it up. Look at that. So I was able to easily add in um, that theme. And as you know, I installed a bunch of these. So let's go ahead and do another one. We go to UI settings themes so this one is mario brothers 3 so there you go you got your mario brothers 3 little sonic in there hersty's tag in the lower left and a vertical wheel so pretty cool um the, the ones you saw in the uh, in my last video where there's a neon theme and then there's floyd was the name of the other theme that you could check out. Floyd, I know, is his. So the neon theme was a Dar's Zone edited theme. I believe it's uh, Hursty's uh, code, and then he kind of changed it up a bit. One other thing, if these if these are never um, showing up correctly, you might want to change your VRAM limits. Certain VRAM will definitely help with some of these themes. Okay, and then Sterling was another one I downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, I'm using this image because it has a bunch of games already pre-installed on it so you can see all the systems and how beautiful this really is. Um, you can easily do this on your personal image or some, you can easily do this on a personal image or whatever else you want. If you missed it earlier, this does come with a theme randomizer. And what that does is when you turn it on, every time you boot up your emulation station, there'll be a different theme. So what Hursty recommends is that you go ahead and just download a bunch of themes, turn on the optimizer, and then every time you'll have one of the cool themes you like. That way you don't have to find just the one you love. I did ask if he had a gallery, like I showed you in the last video, where you scroll down and you can see all the themes. And unfortunately, he does not. Um, there's 1,300 themes here just in the Hursty collection. So uh, what I recommend doing is just downloading them. You can always delete them, disable them, um, downloading a, front, a bunch using the and then use the randomizer. You have a few options or just play around with it. Something that is a little helpful though is like you'll notice some of the themes have like 130 variants. So if you just install the first variant, you'll be like, oh, okay, is it vertical? Is it horizontal? Is it this? Is it that? And you'll get the, the basics of that theme. And then you can worry about or think about, you know, what specific one you want, like Robocop or Terminator or whatever. That's the approach I would go in unless somebody wants to make a website which has every single theme listed in it. It just seems like it would be a lot, a lot of work. There you go. That should get you started. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Special shout out to Hursty for doing all this stuff. David Marty for building the script. And uh, there'll be links in the description to all that stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.